So if we have big ears, then the other option is small ears. So if you would like for your characters to have little tiny ears, which I prefer, I think it looks nicer, that's what we're going to do in this video. So I'm going to come over here to my face layer. On my face thumbnail, you've heard me say that a million times already, right? And I am going to come in with my regular lasso, and I'm going to grab the other ear. Of course, grabbing more skin than I need, and a little bit of this sideburn that is sticking down over my ear. So I'm going to do a Command J, and when I do that Command J, just like everything else before, it takes that selection and places it in a new layer. Be sure and name that body part slash layer. Now, what's going to happen is you are going to come in here and you're going to shrink this ear. But you're going to be a little annoyed because as you shrink it, you're still going to see the original ear. Ignore that. We are going to fix that here in a second. It's going to be very easy to get rid of. You just have to kind of deal with it for just a little bit. So shrink that ear, make it a little smaller. And same thing as before, I want to try to keep those landmarks attaching to that same part of my face. And since I can see that other ear, I can really see where my cartilage touches my jaw, or my, excuse me, my cheekbone here. And I can take that same place and try to line it up the best that I can. I'm going to come and apply my mask, and I'm going to blend. Ooh, that looks good. Boom. So now I've got like three ears. That's frustrating. This is how we're going to get rid of the other ear. Your face layer, that base shape for everything else that's existed underneath here, has a mask still applied to it. This is why we've left it, because we're going to use it to get rid of our ears that we don't want to see. So I'm going to zoom in over here so I can see. I'm on my mask now for my face. And I am going to just start erasing that ear. Make sure if you're using a fuzzy brush still, when you get along this cheek, that you're getting a little teeny tiny one and you're being nice and precise. Heck, you can even hide your ear, the little tiny one anyway, so then you can really see what you're getting here. But honestly, you just have to be sure and just hide whatever portions are still being exposed by your smaller ear. You don't have to be that precise. Now again, you've got hair to battle with, so make sure that hair is still coming down and attaching nicely. So you might have to do some additional kind of thinkings on what you've got going on there to get it looking the way you want it to. But boom, that was really easy. So you thought the big ear was easy? Well, the little ear is just as easy. It just requires us using a mask that we already had. So you do have a big ear and a small ear potentially now if you were doing this tutorial for the first time. But again, if you are working on yourself or your teacher photo, make sure that you are choosing one or the other because the big versus small is pretty silly looking and it does look nice if you just choose one style. Okay, so the next thing we are going to work on is merging all of this craziness together so we can get a little farther down. So save this, we'll work on the next step.